Time savers, am I right? Welcome back, everybody. Key. Elevator. All right, Yosh. Let's go. Going down. Wow, this is a fast elevator. I feel like we should not be still on the ground. Whoa. Whoa, Gonzalez. What in the world are these little monsters? Whoa. Let's chase them off and find that switch fast. All right. Question out the gate for switches. Oh, do I have a question about this one? See, like, this is a question I have that I'm going to have to answer once these two guys are out of the way. But, like, I, it has a very clear gameplay reason, but a very bad lore reason. So, this looks like a very unique looking switch, right? You would think that this controls the drawbridge, but no, it doesn't. It opens up a spot for a different switch. This controls the drawbridge. Okay, understandable that they would make it like that so that you can't flip the drawbridge back down, come back up, and try to ride the train when the drawbridge is up. But from a from an in-universe standpoint, why is your drawbridge switch a... Okay, first off, how did anybody flip the switch to make the drawbridge go up if the switch to make the drawbridge go down is a one-time use object? What did Belgium do to make the drawbridge rise if that's how you have to get it down in the first place? My thought process is that the, uh, the metal switch actually controls the drawbridge, but they made some kind of way to make sure you can't rise the drawbridge, raise the drawbridge back up. But, um, yeah, those are my questions. Alright. A whole board. Get back on the train. No, I won't do the end. King K! It's yo, G Money. It's me, King K. Your bud from the Glitz Pit. I know you remember me. How you doing? You what? You off KOing fools left and right somewhere else? I'm still living large in the minor league, but I'm keeping busy. You know how it is. I gotta thank you again for convincing me to stay. You fired me up good. So are we ever going to chill again or what? Or are we just going to meet in the ring? Careful, next time you're in front of the King K, it's going to be way, I'm going to be way, 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 way better. He's not. He's still a regular Koopa. It sucks. I kind of wish that, um, I kind again, I do kind of wish that the Glitz Pit characters had a little bit more of a power boost, but at the same time, some of them are standard enemies you could find elsewhere, so... Whew, there's no point to that. I still think, though, that the KP Koopas, in general, should have had different stats. Like, 6 HP, attack 2. Even attack 3, honestly. Because just copying the stats of a regular Koopa Troopa just doesn't work. Or just doesn't do it. Alright. I want to check something real quick. Because I got an item. I got some things from when I was doing all that fighting that I don't really need. Is it open? Nope, it's not. So I'm going to have to do it on the way to fight the boss. Day three. It's a new day. And what a cool, brisk morning. Alright. I know exactly what I need to do. But there's something I want to, I just want to show this, because it's fun, it's interesting. It's something I didn't really think to check up. So first off, missing people, knocked out Toad, yeah, seems pretty normal to me. So if you go all the way to the back of the train early, and you'll notice that he's not here. Odd, it won't open. It really, it really seems like it should. Y'all saw that little guy there, right? Yeah. They already, they, like, you give, you're give, the, given the time to explore the train, you notice that something's up. Aside from the fact that there's no music playing. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, um, that's not exactly the greatest hint either, honestly. But then again, I guess if you're going to explore, if it's telling you to explore the whole train, oh, it's Pat Patch. We'll, we'll talk to him later. Um, I think if they're telling you explore the whole train, you'll inevitably have to you like hit up each room, and inevitably you will talk to the one and only NPC that you actually can talk to right now. It should also be worth mentioning that why is he still here? Everyone else is missing except for two people. Ah, good morning, sir. It's quite quiet this morning, wouldn't you say? Uh, no. No. Hmm. There's something on the windshield? There is a lot of something on the windshield. In fact, there's a lot of something on the whole train. Uh, aren't those the things from the station yesterday? They must have stowed away. Well, what should I do? First, we have to ensure the passenger's safety. But I have to keep driving the train. Trains are awesome. Mario, could you check on the rest of the train for me? Yes, I can check on the rest of the train for you. The engine that is, for whatever reason, located right here, it still seems to be working. Okay, buddy, I checked the train for you. I'm going to go look for the passengers. That's a bit. That's a gag that I feel like was necessary. Alright, is there anybody in here? No, this cabin is empty. All of them are going to be empty. I'm not going to run every single one of them. I need to get to the back of the train ASAP. Actually, no, I need to get to the shop first. Oi, buddy, wake up! Oh my goodness, I'm hitting him and it's not doing anything. Wake up, dude. We, we got a problem, man. What? I, um, there were a lot of black things everywhere. Did you save me? Wow. How goes a traveler? Welcome to this. Dude's not phased at all. Alright. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna sell the Mr. Softener. I'm gonna sell the Meteor Meal. 40 coins? Absolutely, I'll do it for that. I don't even need it. Uh, I am... Here's what else I'm gonna do. I'm doing this. No Thunder Rage. I'm going into this battle, and I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna have to use my moves and item... Well, my moves. No easy, uh, bits with the Thunder Rage. We're... We're... I, I swear, like, the, the strategies in this game I've known that make the game easier, I gotta stop using. Whatever it is, if it makes it easier, I don't wanna do it. Oh, gosh, they're all in here. Oh, well, I guess we kind of knew that. I guess they I guess they can say the word smorg. My hunch is that these things might be smorgs. Oh, she is alarmed. Uh, yeah, I guess. They have the poor conductor. Please help him. Hey. Out. How did I not hit these two when I swung my hammer like that? Detective Mario, you saved us again. Yeah, being kidnapped in your sleep does sound pretty scary. They have the other paying passengers. And the chef. I love how, like, the um, train staff was um, kind of just held in the cab, the baggage car, but, like, the chef was the only one taken by the actual things. Out of my way, boys. Oh, get off my train. Get off my goddamn train. You got all of you off of my train. Don Pianta gave me a ticket for this thing, and I'm not letting you guys ruin the experience. There we go. Get, get, get away from me, you guys. Oh my goodness. This, this part is just kind of a little annoying. Having to uh, constantly wind up your hammer to get rid of all of them. Because you can't really move very well if you don't. There we go. Also, you cannot tell me that this many creatures... Oh, I guess you could convince me, but... Wow, that is, that does, there looks like there was a lot more than just these guys. 
Also, the red ones are not visible in the cutscene anymore. But they do have everybody. This is just such an out there boss. A, it's not even guarding the Crystal Star itself. It's literally just another roadblock. But I find that so cool, really. Like, our chapter boss is just a roadblock. It doesn't have the Crystal Star. It's not fighting us for it. No, it's just this creature here. Also, that roll up, the, uh, the, the roll up uh, background, that's so cool. I love the details in this game. Play this game, guys. It's amazing. Also, the reds are really covered in this one. Information. What is it? That's a smorg. Lots of smorgs gather to create this huge smorg. So basically, the big and the small are nothing different. Max HP is 50, attack is 5, defense is 1. See, I feel like it should have a bit more HP. Well, and again, you're in Chapter 6, and the Chapter 3 boss has more HP than this. Grubba just has all-around higher stats, but the thing is, this thing attacks twice. Oh, all the tentacles have defense. Okay, good to know. Ow. Okay, that's a delay. That's There's a delay there. Ow. Okay, this is good, though, because I need an excuse to use items from time to time. Ow. Okay, so I've already lost half my health. But that's fine, because i got a lot of items to work with. There. Not, nothing two multi-bounces can't... Uh, can't fix. Okay, now we can do some serious damage because we now have a free attack power of 10. Well, not free, but you get the picture. Oh, we get to do it again, do we? Sure, why not? Um, let's top off with the Maple Super, why not? I need an excuse to use these. The reality is I could finish this fight before this guy even gets another three attacks in. In fact, I could have just rally winged, to be honest. Oh. Oh yeah, get that super guard. Nope, not that time. But it's okay, we denied one. Uh, I've also been learning a lot of things with my... Um, my return postage run, now that I have return postage for like the entire game. I think one thing I can confirm is that if the opponent can be super guarded with a physical, from a physical attack, then the, um, the return postage will work. Otherwise, if you can't, then it, the return postage actually does not work. So return postage does not work against a uh, beast like Hooktail, but it does work against Magnus Von Grapple. So, these are interesting little tidbits of information. Nice. That, was felt, that felt way early, though. Alright, Goombella, take it out. Take out that last tentacle. Alright, Mario, now go in for some, like, literally, at this point, basically free 10 damage. Oh, there's fog on that side now. Okay. You know what? Screw it. We're trying. Nope. We missed. I don't need a slow shroom. I'm going to be 100% real with you. Boom. Free damage. Oh my goodness. I mean, I'm literally just trying to give myself excuses to use items. But I realistically could have had this battle done so long ago. Ow. Okay, I'm almost dead. That does not matter in the slightest. I'm just going to go in for a normal hammer, and then Goombella's going to heal up Mario. 
Okay, we got it, but that. Oh, right. I only have an attack power four with my hammer. Um. You know what? Zez cookies. Why not? Honestly, again, I, I don't really need all of this. I might as well just use it. I might as well practice my super guarding. Fail. Like that. Well, no, that wasn't a fail, but I might as well practice my super guarding. Fail it sometimes and then use my items to cover for my mistakes. Alright, Goombella. Finish it. Because you do not need to take out the claw. The claw actually does not increase the defense. It's just the three tentacles. 30 star points! Whoopee! Ooh, it's just blown away in the wind. You guys, I guess all their muscles just gave out and they just became dust in the wind? Because my question is, what, I guess, like, what were keeping them on the train in the first place if they could be blown away like that? Everyone's safe now, it's all thanks to you. Oh, thank you so much, you shaved my life! No, stupid tongue of mine, you saved my life. You shaved me. He's got the Chef, Chef Shimi definitely has the gold member voice from Austin Powers. Austin Powers Faja, you shaved my life. No, Faja, Dad. Faja means dead. I haven't watched Austin Powers in so long. They got away with so much, and that's why I love it. Alright, please watch your step and be sure to take all your belongings with you. Unless you die on the train, then apparently you just leave everything behind on the train. Yeah, I want to reiterate that. Ghosty boy left his diary behind. If you tell people to get, take all their belongings with you, that does not- that clearly does not apply if you end up dying on the train. Also, how did this train get away with that? The lawsuit should have been coming in hard. Mario can't technically can sue the train guys because uh, he knows there's a ghost here. All right, we probably aren't gonna get the crystal star just yet. Probably not even gonna go in Poshly Sanctum because I'm gonna get all the little things here. Um, map, did I get everything at Riverside? Yeah, I did, we're good. So far we're pretty clear. So there's uh, four star pieces here. There's also something back here. Half of this stuff I question whether or not I actually need. But I just get everything because I know it's there and I might as well. And it's just reflex at this point. Get that star piece and then we got two. There should be one more in this in particular area. And then one more in the next. There's this one, so that's going to be 75% of them all. And then, there's one here. Perfect. And then there's a shine spurt in the next area. How on earth did you guys get here? We're staying in that luxury hotel. Poshley Heights sure is the, a place for the richest of the rich, huh? Poshley Heights sure is a place, all right. It's the, the place of all time. We're thinking of going to see the Poshley Sanctum next. How did you guys ever get the money to even come here? Mario only got here because he had to go and satisfy a mob, a mafia boss. Thank you for making note of this only building in this particular area. I think we could figure out which one of these is Poshly Sanctum. Alright, and that should be all the collectibles in this chapter. Yup. Oh, well, actually, I think Poshly, Sa Poshly Sanctum is actually considered its own place, so there's actually, a, I think, a Shine Sprite in there. But I'm gonna probably end up getting it next time.
In fact, I kind of I have to go back anyway, simply because the save block is back, and uh, this is my last episode for the week. So, I do have to remember though. Alma needs some of this. Uh, what's my inventory slot like? Okay. Fresh pasta? Yeah, I'm gonna need some of this. 50 coins though, holy jeez. I'm gonna buy... Well, actually, now that I think about it, I only needed one. Because you can actually make every single spaghetti recipe with just one batch, because you could just use that... You cook the, the fresh pasta to make spaghetti, then you mix it with the other things to make the other things. Also, I know there was an in coupon behind that wheel, but I don't need it. I'm ignoring it. So, I will see everybody next time, where I'll probably end up getting that in coupon in the next episode. So, I'll see you guys then.